Lake Cajelago has two camping spots. It's Frog's Hollow and Dead Man's Point. Both are free camping, but both have donation boxes. So I rang the council to find out what this actually meant. We did stay there a couple of months ago. We did donate, but there's a little bit of confusion when it's advertised as a free camping and it has a donation spot. What would you do? This is what I found out. Day breaks and I'm burned by the morning light. I make the same mistake more than twice. Same song, but brand new dance. I wear out my third second chance. Hi everybody, today's video is on Lake Cardelligo in New South Wales. Now it is a free camp. There is a debate over whether this is a free camp or not because there is a donation box there. I did ring the Lachlan Shire. We did stay there a couple of months ago and we did donate um, because we saw a donation box there, but we weren't quite sure whether it was because it's advertised through the Shire as being a free camp and yet it says you can donate. So I, I rang the Shire up this week to ask about what their policy is. They said the Lake Cargelago is a free camp. There is no donation needed whatsoever. They are quite happy to receive donations if anyone wants to donate. They said sometimes they find coins in there, sometimes they find $50 notes. They would love to see receipts in there from the town to know how much money is being spent in the town. We did spend in the town as well. We do take our receipts with us because I keep track of everything. But um, also they said they love to receive notes, lovely notes from people. So if you're ever at Lake Cargelligo, no, you don't have to donate. You can if you like. They love to hear from you from a note or a receipt to say this is what you've spent in the town but donation is optional the other thing i asked them was if people don't donate are they going to close these places down and they said absolutely not they do not expect donations it does help but they don't expect donation unless it actually says there is a donation of x amount of dollars to use that facility that facility is a free site unless it says it is a donation site so when we were at Lake Cargelago, we were actually lucky because they had emptied some of the water out so we could actually stay on the actual lake itself, the, the bank of the lake, the outside of the lake. I have been told by the Shire that the lake is now back up to its normal level. So to stay on there, you'd probably be a little bit further back than what we were and what is shown in the video. And when we also came, they were doing a lot of maintenance down the main street which the Shire now tells me that that is nearly finished. It's looking pretty good. So you've got to visit Lake Cargelago. It's a must um, if you want to see this beautiful lake. The colours that you see at night are amazing. I don't think there was any one night that we stayed there that was the same. And the people seem to be pretty friendly that, that we were camping around and coming and going. We also had um, locals come down asking, did we want to buy firewood? They had firewood in a bag. I think it was $20 a bag. And um, we had one guy come down offering to sell um, puddings and tomatoes. So that was pretty cool too. So you didn't have to actually go out if you didn't want to. But yeah, we filled up with water at the information centre so we could fill up before we went and we actually filled up when we left to go on to the next site. Yep, so we like to have a f um, full fridge and full water and then we can stay wherever we want for as long as we want, as long as the actual site permits it. So we had a good time there. We caught up with friends that we'd met on the road, Bob and Helen, and their photo bombing pug, Scuba, who's a little bit of a, a um, friendly little thing here who loves loves people. So I hope you enjoy our video and we'll see you at the end. Ooh, ah. Talking to me with your eyes, I get a hint of the perfume that I like. Wear it like a disguise, I come around with the perfect alibi. A midnight pouring my heart out like it's water. TikTok, you know this night ain't getting younger Feels like chasing a star up and down in the sky I can't get enough 
Everybody, hope you enjoyed that video. Next week, our video is at Cobar at um, Mays Bend. We stayed at Mays Bend just out of Cobar. There is free camping in front of the sign at Cobar as well. So I hope you come along and watch that video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We do appreciate everybody who has subscribed to help the channel come along. And we hope you make a comment and let us know what's your favorite place. Bye for now. You would take my breath and I can't get it back. Might be time for me to face the facts, the best.